What's going on everybody? This Afro Think Tank. And real quick, I want to talk about this Anton Daniels Six God situation. Six God, she uh she ethered, she ethered uh Anton Daniels, and I think for good reason, right? Anton Daniels uh went on the Six God show, you know, because he realized that Six God canceled the shit out of him, and he just didn't understand why she did it in the public square and not like hit him up online because apparently they had somewhat of a personal business personal relationship so he thought that they had an understanding that no matter what happens online that they were you know if they had an issue with each other they would communicate uh you know on a on the back end basically a code right it was supposed to be a code he felt like he felt like uh she violated the code so he you know he won't talk about it but then she stole cold ether him just by her mannerisms, right? Because she wasn't trying to hear that bullshit. She totally checked out, right? And I always find it ironic how Anton called up there talking about some fucking cold when it's the same nigga that makes sure to let black people know that he ain't your peoples, right? Like the nigga literally, now I'm not saying he's stupid or he ain't stupid. He's a smart brother, right? Smart brother. He knows how to market. He knows how to advertise. He built a very good character for himself on YouTube being a black bald headed asshole who talk shit about women all day that's the only reason people watch it to be honest the only reason people watch anton daniels i mean not yeah anton is because he's a fucking dick he's a professional dick who say some good shit sometimes right he got the whole bald head beard let me put these shades on put some nice graphic like the nigga know how to sell himself right but it's played i mean i've seen that shit time and time again he's just he's it's a character right but here's the thing the nigga, even though he make a lot of money, right? He's successful, right? I'm not taking any any of that from him. But the nigga, but, and I don't know what he does outside. I think he say he do real estate. You know, all these guys do real estate, right? All these YouTube gurus, money finder, they all do all this shit behind, you know, when the camera's off, for some reason, they always on the fucking camera. Like, how do you got time to do all that shit and do whatever, whatever? And you got time to coach. You got time to run classes. You got time to be a fucking real estate mogul and, 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 do shows all fucking day long apparently that's what you do that's what all these fake financial gurus do right they literally fake it till they make it give you an image until they actually make enough money to be able to actually live the life that they pretending like they live in why they giving you advice about how to live that life right i mean that's the game that's the sales game that's what multi-level marketing does that's what they do there that's what sales is right so he's not doing anything illegal none of them are doing anything illegal and this is just that's just the the, the nature of the business but the thing is the dude makes his money being asshole to black women. Like, total, he's a total fucking dick to black women. So that YouTube money, that algorithm, they only like him for talking shit to black women. Talking shit about black people. The dude talks shit about black... I, and, and I don't know why is it so popular. Why is it when some black people, they get some money or they make a couple good decisions and they start doing good in life, all of a sudden their form of giving advice is to talk shit about everybody else who ain't made it, Right? Niggas, black people, black people who who make a living or think that they're being intelligent teachers, judging other black people because of the lack of their success, just because they've managed to get success or just because, you know, they were lucky enough to hit the fucking lotto or just because they got ha they're good enough to have some skills, they had a little bit of motivation to make something happen. Instead of teaching, really teaching people how to do it from a humble perspective they become assholes like huh i'm doing it why you not doing it because you're not pulling yourself up from your bootstraps a bunch of white supremacies right ring talking points that's what the fuck it is 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 is, is, is it's like you're not teaching you're just demigogging from the top right and the thing is if that's what you're going to do okay be consistent right be consistent if you make your money talking shit about black women all fucking day long right because you you've been married right like you're the only nigga that been married right but you talk shit about black women all the time from your high perch, right? And then you make it a point to let black people know, I guess poor black people, pe black people who, who are not as successful as you, black people who don't have the same mind or thinking of, of you, right? They not your peoples, right? So you already put out in the ether that black people ain't your peoples. You even told a black dude once who was having a conversation with you as an African guy, you made sure to let him know before off jump, nigga, you not my peoples, right? Before the even conversation having a dude was not being vulgar or anything. He was just, you know, and right then and there, I was like, oh, you one of them niggas, right? I know niggas like Anton. Like, nigga, there's a whole bunch of niggas like him, right? And so, okay, cool. That's part of your, that's, you, at least you're being consistent, right? All right, that's your, you're a fucking asshole. That's your thing online, right? 
you're a successful asshole wear colorful shirts and sunglasses and you're a mogul and you're and teaching people and you help so many people and you put people in first class and you wear Gucci and you like wearing rich white people products to validate yourself because that's how you value it. Just white people stuff validate him. He want to make sure that when the real white mogul, when the real white mogul shows up, that they look at Anton Daniels as an equal because you know what? He don't because because that's his people. Then the, the motherfuckers with money is his people, not his people people. So what happened was since he's so since since he he's such a he has no problem being assholes to everybody else when they when when he believes or he critiques something that they do right when just pearly clearly all right we're not talking about just a messed up we're not talking about we're not talking about an accident we're not talking about uh, a fraudulent slip we're talking about purposeful purposeful action we're talking about someone who actually takes advantage of her employees we're talking about somebody who comes from who doesn't come from the culture, the one, uh, but you, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. We're talking about a white woman, right? Being all, you know, keep in mind, these niggas like him, they forget historic, they, they, they forget that African Americans in this country are still coming out of slavery that just ended like less than 200 years ago. That, that people still alive, their parents knew they were slaves and their reconstruction and then Jim Crow and then the war on drugs. They, y'all niggas, these motherfuckers act like the shit the shit just fuck ended 500. They, they act like we still not dealing with repercussions right now. They they act like the educational system ain't still fucked up teaching our kids absolutely nothing. Not teaching our kids finances in high school. This nigga acting like that African Americans have access to all this fucking financial information in school. And why is it that we ain't got our shit together when we still trying to cool the fuck off from the fire, you know, that was set upon us. That was fucking lit for fucking 500 years. We are just now cooling the fuck off and these niggas acting like we supposed to have, or where the fuck are we supposed to be as black people right the fuck now? I think we're doing pretty fucking good despite the circumstances, right? But I digress, you know. But with all that being said, so when a white person, an insensitive white woman knowingly is ignorant, knowingly talks disparagingly against black people, this nigga goes online like a coon house nigga sambo ass motherfucker and capes for her. Let's her come on the show and give a bunch of fucking bullshit ass pity party. <laughs> He's patting her in the back and shit. going, oh, white woman. Hey, white woman. Right? Where's that fucking energy for the black women that you can make all your fucking money from buying all your white Gucci and Versace? Where's your fucking energy? Where's all your, where's your empathy for those women when they accidentally say some shit that you don't fucking like or agree with? But when this white woman disrespect all fucking black people, all black people, all black women, she make her money helping black niggas like you disrespect black women and you cape for her online and wonder why a black woman like this six don't want to fuck with you no more. Because you not her people's, nigga. Just like you fucking said. So be a fucking man and move on. Don't go on the show complaining and pity party and wondering by why she do this online, nigga, when you do this shit to everybody else. Nigga, you get the same fucking energy you give out. And you don't like that shit. And you try to pretend like you so stoically clue, but that shit hurt your fucking feelings, right? Just like that shit hurt our fucking feelings when we saw that white woman. Right? You we let these you let these white women into the community. You let them do what the fuck they want to do, say what the fuck they want to do, let them make all the fucking mistakes they want to make, let them be as fucking racist as they want, and then tell the black world not to be fucking offended and while caping for it and wonder why motherfuckers got issues with you. After all the other shit you done said and did, nigga, you done used up your social capital already. Right? That's why niggas don't fuck with you, cause you're a sambo cool ass nigga that pretend like you about love and family, but nigga. The, the, the truest thing you ever really said was, you ain't my peoples. You, you not my peoples. That's true. You demonstrated, nigga. You literally demonstrated that black people ain't your peoples. The only people that's your peoples is niggas with the money. Right? You already said this shit online is bullshit. You know it's fucking bullshit. Right? But yet, you think it's okay to come out here and disparage and put all this, I'm, uh, this, this, this fake black excellence because you got a little bit of money. Fake it till you make it. And then, you know, you do all that and shit, but then when a white woman, it's time for you to, to run down on a white woman to show that you were really consistent, that you really that person, you didn't do it. That was your moment. If you would have ran down on Just Pearly, it'd have been like, yeah, consistency. Consistency, you see? He don't let none of that shit slide. No, nah, nigga, you chose who the fuck you really are on accident. Right now, niggas know. Now, people still gonna fuck with you. They gonna, you know, because we know how people are, right? You know how people are because you're smart. So, what, what they was gonna happen is, the niggas that think that they're gonna get rich or successful by watching Anton, 
they're going to keep watching him. They're going to disregard this because that's what people do, right? Because it doesn't go, it goes against their narrative. They're going to disregard it. So he's still going to make his money. People going to forget. People got short term memories anyway. So they're going to forget. Anton's still going to grow. He's still going to be successful, you know, for most like. But, you know, he's probably going to, people not going to forget this, right? And so, you know, when he goes off and tries to do anything or try to say anything empowering about black people, people going to remind his ass every time who he really is. That's it. It's set in stone. It's, it's there now. We Everybody knows. So nobody should feel sorry for him. He don't feel sorry for you. He shouldn't. For shit, fuck it. It is what it is. That's what kind of nigga he is. There's a lot of people like that out there. There's a lot of there's a lot of Negroes that's willing to sell out their culture, pretend like they're in the culture, but sell out their culture for that grint, for that white person's dollar. All right? And that's just, and that's the thing. And think, see, niggas like Anton who complain about there is no code because a couple black niggas hurt his feelings or did or did him wrong. It's niggas like that. They ain't got the strength to hold the code. You see, you got to have, to hold the code, to hold the code or be a keeper of the code. You got to have strength to be on code even when motherfuckers not. You got to have some consistency in your fucking concrete or it's going to crumble. When somebody chips away on the outside, you got to be strong enough to stay tight. That's density. Y'all, some of y'all niggas ain't got no density. A nigga hurt your fucking feelings. Y'all like pillows and shit. Y'all flaw off to win. Oh, a black person did me wrong. A black person took advantage of me. Fuck black people. Fuck all black people. Nigga, fuck you. You just weak. And you don't want to admit that you weak. So you project that it's everybody else. That's why you gave up. It's cause, no, it's because you fucking weak. And you just can't hold. You're not strong enough to hold the code. Real black people are strong enough to hold the code. Real Africans are strong enough to hold codes, whatever groups they with. And there is a fucking code. That's the thing about it. And six know it. There is a code. The motherfuckers act like they ain't no code. There is a code. There's a fucking line. You don't just run through the black community like that and and and, and be able to say and do what the fuck you want to do and think we just gonna let the shit happen. Nigga, we, but that's pr African black people, we got fucking pride with ourselves. Despite what you fucking, fucking financial quasi-conservative gurus for, on internet think, Whatever y'all think, y'all think that everybody's on welfare and all that. Nigga, everybody's on welfare. Nigga, I hate the fact that some of these black people specifically say black people got these issues when this all humans got these fucking issues. It's economics, dumbass. And if you fuck, if you if you so good with money, you would know that, have some empathy, and start teaching motherfuckers from a point of fucking of 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 of, of care and empathy instead of acting like a fucking dick and an asshole. And if you're gonna be a dick and an asshole, at least be consistently a dick and an asshole to the white motherfuckers when they come in and step on your fucking toes, nigga. Be consistent. And that's why Six to God did what she did. And, and nobody gonna blame her. Fuck your agreement you had in your motherfucking kitchen, nigga. You fucking cake for a white bitch online. Millions of motherfuckers saw that shit. You sucked her fucking, her eggplant and sucked all the fucking mayonnaise out of the eggplant. Live, the shit was all on your black ball face, nigga. The fuck, you can't come back over here to these black women and think they're gonna give you some fucking respect. Fuck you mean that's their that's their open enemy, and you capping for them. The fuck wrong with you? Black first, black women first, black people first. That's the fucking code at least, bare minimum default. Fuck, what's wrong with these niggas, man? Motherfuckers, I swear to God, niggas get a little bit of money, buy some shiny fucking shirts, and think they just. Huh, fucking God and shit. Fuck you, nigga. Y'all bleed just like Arab. No, ain't nobody better than nobody. Ain't nobody better than nobody. 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 I don't give a fuck how much money you got. It don't mean shit. Fuck money gonna do. Nigga, you still bleed like everybody else. You still gotta eat or you gonna die. You still gotta drink water or you gonna dehydrate. The fuck? Get out of here. Man, that's all I got to say. This Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out. Stay on fucking code.